All right, welcome back, everybody. We have the Thermajidge, whatever it's called. And so let's talk to him again. Get his first level one crest. My first scepter. Good master Koko Bukai wishes to test the limits of your thermagical aptitude. Hmm, hmm, hmm. The scepter will complements the avid desire for destructive power written upon your features. Now, we shall complete your initiation with a trial to test the limit of your aptitude for channeling thermology. Huge hornets, star moments, and snapping shrews inhibit the land abundance. Excise your sorceress might and slay three of each of these creatures before returning to my side. So, we are back out to the land. So we can go start slaying. Ooh, what we get in our inventory? Mammoth meat. Cool. Throw that over there. And we still have a pugless, whatever that is, to do. But we'll get that pugless some other time. Right now. Ooh, mapping the realm. Western Thanos. Or not Thanos, whatever this is. Speaking of which, is there anything to mine? Oh, look at this. Oh. I thought that was stuff to mine. Nope, I was wrong. So. Let's go ahead and... Oh, that took forever to cast. Oh my. But, it only, it two shot at him, which is nice. Elemental gauge unlocked. What is that? I don't know. But I do have blizzard and fire now. Let's try fire. Can fire two shot them? Nope. Not shit. Come on. All right, Umber Ice and Astral Fire. Astral Fire and Umber Ice are special status effects which allow Thermages to constantly deal devastating amounts of damage while still conserving the magic point reserves. Casting one of the fire spells will give Thermage the effect of Astral Fire which increases the potency and magic points cost for the fire spells. At the same time, it lowers the potential and magic points cost blizzard spells, but prevents the natural spell assisted gradual restoration of magic points. No clue what that was saying. Uh, conversely casting one of the blizzard spells gives a third mage the effect of umber ice, which decreases the magic point cost of ice spells while increasing the uh, speed at which magic points naturally recover. At the same time, it lowers the potency and magic points cost of fire spells. So if I do this one, it costs less for the fire spell is what I'm getting. Alright, as a thermage process and level, the number of umber, ice, and astral fire effects, which can be stacked at any one time, increases. The larger the stacks, the more powerful the effect. Uh, learning when to switch between fire and ice is key to being successful in extended battles.
Got you. All right, so I need something else. Hornets and Thorough Mage. Oh, we got little cactuses down here we need. And then we need to head to the other side after we get these cactuses. Fire. Go. How many more do we need? We'll just knock them out real quick. And that should be enough? Yes. See, does anybody else need these? Oh, yes. My gladiator needs these, so we'll knock these out real quick. are on his list. <laughs> All right, ladybugs are done. Cactuses should be done after this one. Hopefully, yes, cactuses are done. So he got him a few star mangus little gits. Ooh, 12 giant turtles. We are not ready for him. I'm going to head over to the other side where I know the hornets are. Get them knocked out real quick. And I do mean real quick. Elemental gauge unlocked. Um, Elemental gauge. The elemental gauge in case whether you are under the influence of astral fire after casting fire spell. Or a mer ice after casting a blizzard spell. On an influence of astral fire, all fire spells will have increased potency but require more magic points to cost. While under the influence of umber ice, you will have significantly increased magic point recovery. Okay. I think it's becoming a little bit more clear now. Let's head over to Central there again and get these quests here we go that's what I'm looking for these little bad boys right here oh what's this transpose swap astral fire with a single umber ice or umber ice with a single astral fire We're just going to leave them alone for right now. Cast that fire. There we go. Another hornet down. Might as well get level 5 while we're out here. There we go. Another one. Um, her layout. Elemental okay. gauge. Just put that down a little bit. There we go. Now it's not in the way. All right, snapping true. Get ready for some ice. Here we are. 
spice them up. Slow them down. level five real quick since we're here we're like almost there did that give it to us it did and I switched to my berserker let's go ahead and get him level five while we're out here we're on the way back anyway so Should take long and done. Let's head on back in and finish off my first scepter quest. I don't know if I really like the stir mage -y type thing too much. I do like the gladiator though. He seems fun. Right up in their face, smashing. Alright, there's a crystal right here to give me fast travel, so we don't have to run all that way. Oh, and I set the hot bars up here, we're here to the right. There are four gathering skills. There are eight crafting skills and there are nine combat skills according to what I can see right now we are we are at the Therma Magidia's guild let's head on back here to the black robe boy Oh, bees, cocoa, bio, cocoa, pookie. No wonder she has problems. They're all cocoa. Hum, hum, hum. You have the satisfied look of a mage who has utterly vanquished his foes, Tick Man. I formally welcome you into the Brotherhood of Thermages. The purpose of this trial was to gauge your capacity for welding thermology, an innate quality, the limits of which are bound by the level of aesthetic energy flowing through your physical being. Ether, the very stuff of life, exists within all living creatures to a greater or lesser extent. Remember this, for it is the most basic law of arcane manipulation. As your experience grows, so shall your reserve of thermodrigal endurance. The wellspring of your magical might will also swell in response to moments of extreme terror or distress. When you find yourself seeking greater challenge, when next you crave the thrill, the exquisite fear, that is when you show, when you shall know the time has come for you. To visit me once more, hum 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 hum. Next quest will be available from Koko Bukai upon reaching level five. And that is complete, my first scepter. So with that, let's see, there we go. I've got some better gear I can equip. Awesome. Let's go ahead and save it. Same with the gladiator. Equip and update. Good deal. All right, well, thanks for joining me. My name's Tick and we'll see you next time for the next quest.